last A and E biography, Booker T. You know, I was going to call you guys and say, "Let's not watch it," but I said, "Ah, what the hell?" I'm glad we did. We're going to watch the Shawn Michaels one last week, and we may as well watch this one. And I'll give you all a piece of advice before we begin here. If you've not watched this before, watch about the first twenty minutes where it talks about the childhood of Booker T. Mm-hmm. And then watch about the last 10 minutes, which tells you about the current day life of Booker T. That's all I got to watch. The wrestling portion is, there's nothing to it. I thought the first hour was good. The second hour, the I first totally hour? agree. The first hour? Basically up until the last Nitro. I thought so the first 40 minutes without commercials. Sure. Okay, so 10 minutes longer than I told him to watch. My wife has been watching every one of these with me, and I, I have no idea why. She... She deemed this the best one of the bunch. What? Well, because there was no, like, actually, there were disasters. Why did she like this one the best? I don't know. She has an opinion. Well, I know that, but she's your wife. Like, did you ask her, like, why did you prefer this one to all of the other ones? I don't ask a lot of questions, Brian. Mm. I'm, I'm guessing because it had a happy ending. Randy Savage wanted to have a happy ending? Okay, yeah, let's he's move dead. On. What about Stone Cold Steve Ott? Well, yeah, I suppose she didn't like that one, did she? No, All right, not. let's move on here. So it's time <laughs> to explain Booker T winning the WCW title. And they have to summarize oh in 60 seconds God. or less the mess <laughs> of world Everybody is completely, like, nobody knows what's going on. No. Or they're all lying. Like, I mean, honestly, you know, it was just so dumb. And they're trying to explain... I don't even want to bother. <laughs> like, if you want the entire story, cheap yeah. plug, you can read Death of WCW or you can read 100 Things W... I think it's in that book. WWE fans should know and do before they die. For sure it's in Death of WCW, but the whole thing was a work. Granted, maybe some people didn't know because they tried to fool all the boys. But the entire thing was a work, except when it was over... And Vince Russo came out, and he called Hulk Hogan a big, bald son of a bitch. And Hogan was legitimately angered to have been called bald. And in fact, we got a lawsuit out of all of this. So, it, it was a work that became a shoot for reasons, like, completely <laughs> having nothing to do with the actual worked part of it. Yes. And then the rest is, is history. But they had, like, 50 guys trying to explain this. And they all fuck it up, and they fuck it up so bad that when it's over, like, I don't think any viewer that doesn't know the story would have any fucking idea what's going on. I can't imagine. To the point where I don't even know why they even bothered. So Booker emerges from this disastrous world champion, and then as you will recall, they screwed him up every single episode of the show until maybe the very last episode of Nitro. Yep. But that's not the story that's told here. And, you know, it's his biography. It should be... You know, we, we, it's okay to celebrate this. It's okay to celebrate. It should that. be true. I mean, like yes. it's part of the story of the success of Booker T that he was fucked up so badly and still managed to go on and succeed. That's true. That That's should be point. celebrated. That is a good point. It's not changing the whole fucking story. That is a good point. It's party time on the program today. I got our main man, Filthy Tom Lawler, here. We're going to have a celebration for you, for your for your epic victory here. Please sit down, Tom. What's going on? You are talking to the champ, baby. Yeah? The new Japan strongest. I got balloons for oh, you. Oh, yeah. Yes. There were no balloons. It said, congratulations, new... New Japan Strong Openweight Champion. So instead I got thinking of you and a cat. We're not going to be drinking here on Twitch. We're only going to have a shot. That doesn't count as drinking. The finest. The finest absinthe. A Brian-sized Diet Coke. Look at this thing. Yeah, this is this is a big one. Probably a little bit too big, but you know what? Let's do this. One, two, three. Ooh, man. Oh. The greatest mixed martial artist slash wrestler in figure four history, Thomas Lawler, the greatest Taurus that has ever been a champion in professional wrestling. The greatest Taurus? You know what I always do when we're done with calls? I hit this button. You know what it says? It says this. We are sorry, but the show has ended. Goodbye. This right here, my friend, this is Mini Zazu. He is the new show mascot. He's going to be sitting here. He's so proud of you for what you did over that weekend, Tom. Congratulations, Tom. Thanks, man. That's right. 
No tears on this show, Tom. Come on, buddy. There, Hold it together. Joy. You did a there, great job. Joy. We're all proud of you here. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.